Good morning, Britain, America. Um, there's some breaking news from Germany. So you, you might already have heard of this, but um, something's happening in Karlsruhe, which is like a um, town in Western Germany, and where the Bundesverfassungsgericht has its sort of uh, court which is basically like us. What would, what would that be in Britain? Like the High Court, I suppose. And so there's just been a ruling or judgment passed. Um, a case, this, is, this case, it's something that happened in a town called Wittenberg, which, which is in East Germany, which is, Wittenberg is well known because it's where Martin Luther all his theses to the wall, to the door of a of a church. Um, Martin Luther, you know, the anti-Semite. Um, so what happened is there's this church in Wittenberger, and there's like um, a depiction on the wall of the church. Um, I think it's on the outside. Okay, so it's been there since the twelve hundred. 90 like the end of the 13th century and it's obviously um anti-semitic so it's it's insulting it's a depiction of um the so-called juden soul so soul is is german word for like pig um and the pigs were um in the medi medieval period pigs were had a sort of symbolic the symbolic meaning of pigs was basically, um, well, similar to today actually, but uh, the pig represented the devil and evil. So on this depiction, um, let's call it a plaque, you could call it a plaque, I suppose, um, it's anti-Semitic. So you've got basically uh, the members of the Jewish community are depicted as pigs, so as devilish, um, and I, I don't want to go into all the details if you know what it looks like and stuff. But you, it's it probably all over the the internet by now anyway. So, so the, someone went to court, and they a member of the Jewish community in Wittenberger, and they demanded that the plaque be removed, and. So this went through all the different courts and stuff, and this ended up in the, in the um, uh, Bundesgericht in Karlsruhe, which is basically, you know, you can't get any, go any further than that. And they said, they just had the judgment, past judgment, and they said, it doesn't have to be removed, okay? And the reason it doesn't have to be removed is that, in the late 80s, so we're talking like late communism, okay, late socialism. In the late 80s, um, the church community, Kirchengemeinde, which is basically what you have in Germany is a system whereby um, churches, you have people, it's like, it's a club. It's like people within the community who, um, Christians who come together and have to basically, uh, you know, they look, they take care of things, um, and they are they they manage a church, and they distance themselves from the content of this. Well, let's not call it a piece of art. It's like Christian propaganda, I suppose, um, and they. They installed a, a bronze plaque below it with a sort of, um, they contextualized it, okay? So they basically explained the significance of the plaque in, it, in, term, in its historical, in relation to its historical meaning, its becoming, um, its development, and basically they related it I mean obviously in, in order to contextualize it you've got to um, mention the Holocaust which they did so the judge said that 
the plug doesn't have to be removed because the church community has done enough you know to contextualize it to distance it from its original anti-semitic context and i'm sure you'll you know that you'll find lots more on the internet on this subject if you want to write an article or if you're a journalist or whatever you know but this is an interesting subject and um theme so i can't give you many more details because uh, you know it's too, it's try, it's like it's breaking news so look it up this is uh germany calling and uh see you again tomorrow perhaps or the day after i'm not sure i'll feed us in